Welcome to Chem 333, The Science of Coffee. I'm delighted that you've uh, decided to join me in this class. Uh, I hope you will learn a lot about science, about how science is done, and about coffee. And uh, I hope you drink some delicious cups of coffee. Although along the way, as we experience or taste the science, uh, we may taste some not so good cups of coffee as well. Uh, for comparison purposes, right? So uh, taste is a, a big part of this class, and um, that's one of the reasons this class works so well when done at home is that you can do it, uh, you're, you're using the stuff in your kitchen. So let's go ahead and uh, let me share the screen, and we'll start going through part of the Canvas portion of this class. We have, uh, I'm on the welcome page right now, and you can see... Uh, this is um, a lecture class, so and the lecture is 100% online asynchronous. Um, you can see my name and my office, although this semester the course is entirely online, and as such, all of my office hours are online as well. I have a phone number, though the best way to get in touch with me is by emailing uh, this address or emailing through Canvas uh, using the inbox feature here. Either way, we'll get in touch with me. And either way, if you don't, if you email me and you don't hear back in 24 hours during the week, uh, or you don't hear back by the end of the weekend, please email again. I will apologize in advance. Uh, sometimes I miss some emails, um, though I hope to do a good job this semester. And um, but anyway, email me again because it is always my intention to answer your questions. Here's my office hours right here. They are all online um, at these times. Hopefully you can make these times. You can also email me questions and I will get back to you. Um, and let's go ahead and go over to uh, modules now. Oh, I should be in student mode, shouldn't I? Oop, can I get the student mode from here? Student view, there we go. Student view will show me exactly, show you and me exactly what you're gonna see. So. Pretty much the same. Let's go over to modules. And in modules, you can see that we've got uh, week one is a course orientation. Welcome to the class with a message from me. Course syllabus, including um, uh, office hours, course policies and grading, course materials. Let's go to course materials. You can see that there is no required textbook for this class and that the required materials are going to be the Chem 333 Online Lab Materials Kit available only through the SCC Campus Bookstore, which has uh, some materials here that we will use for um, different labs during the semester. You'll need a digital coffee scale with timer for pour over and drip coffee. I've got uh, a link to it in Amazon. You don't have to get it through Amazon. This is just one that I found at a pretty reasonable price. It is required and you'll see it must go to 0.1 grams. So you will be asked throughout the class for some of the labs to take pictures of your scale, and I will need to see that it goes to the 0.1 gram, not to the nearest, like, it shouldn't be 10, 11, or 12, it should be 10.1, 10.2, 11.3. You'll need a clever dripper with filters, and uh, this I would suggest you get from Sweet Maria's, um, although you can get it at other places as well. You can see it's required, required. Oh, the lab gets required as well. <coughs> I need to put a required word on there. Um, you'll need the, you, the Clever Dripper because that's how we're going to be making all of our coffee. So one of the things about doing scientific experiments is you keep everything the same and then change one thing for the experiment. And this uh, Clever Dripper allows us to do a lot of things um, uh, even though it's just one method of preparing coffee. So um, then you'll also need a, a specific, a three-in-one scale clinical refractometer. It's pictured here. There are a lot of them on Amazon. Only get this one. And you can see the key feature is it must read the refractive index. So, um, uh, and not many of them do because that is what we need for this class. If you have any questions, send me a link. I will make sure it's the right one. Uh, this one, let's see. Uh, when we go to Amazon, uh, the key is 
it says, um, and refractive index, it says right there. Ooh, this one's 1999. What did I say it was gonna cost? 1999, good. <laughs> um, so it is available, it's in stock. I could get here tomorrow, so that's good news, although we don't need it for a couple weeks. Then you'll need a coffee grinder. This one's a good basic one. If you have a coffee grinder, it will work. You don't need to buy it. Um, if uh, the, So that you'll need a Nostalgia Electric Popcorn Popper. This is specific as well. Um, this will be our main way to roast coffee. It has the popcorn popper specifically has side vents that swirl the coffee beans and not ones that just blow the air straight up. Plus, for 24 bucks, you get a popcorn popper and you get, um, oh, uh, it says not available with, a, oh, it is available with, uh, if you go to Sweet Maria's. And you can see I like to shop here. Might as well just log in. And it comes with coffee, unroasted coffee that we will use this semester. This is a great deal. And you're going to want four pounds, well, typically four pounds of regular coffee um, is what I would suggest you get. Uh, you can get the espresso, um, but regular is best. If you uh, are taking this class and you want to do all of your coffee as decaf, that's actually fine as well. Go ahead and get the decaf coffee here or split it up. Um, and you can also get extra coffee as well. But uh, pot, getting a popcorn popper and getting four pounds of coffee, uh, unroasted coffee, again, it's the basis for the class. So order it. Um, the stuff, and you, there's actually th uh, one more thing we can get from Sweet Maria's that's also a great deal. They're a great company. You know, <laughs> I guess I, I, I you know, there are a lot, you can get it from other places, but uh, I've found that they have very, what they have is really well done. All right, so they're, um, but yes, uh, not available with unroasted coffee anywhere that I can find on Amazon is what that should say. If you get it from Sweet Maria's, it comes with the coffee. Um, and yes, that's what we need because we're going to be, this is how we're going to be roasting this semester. Last thing that's required is a digital uh, from uh, Sweet Maria's is a digital thermometer for coffee roasting with a K-type thermocouple, 1850 from Sweet Maria's. Available at Amazon for slightly more. Um, and you can see it's got a great range of temperatures. We will be able to put this inside the, um, the coffee roaster, the popcorn popper, to measure the temperature of roasting. And so that's why this needs to be so high. Um, and um, pH meter. So this should be 1199. We will be measuring the pH of the coffee, and that will be an interesting thing we'll learn about. A 15-piece plastic graduated cylinder and beaker and plastic pipette kit, $12.99, good deal. This one changes a little bit, let's see how it is now. It's still $12.99, so uh, I've seen it down to $11.99, I think, and up $13 or $14.99 as well. And that's all the materials. Uh, it does add up to be about $150, bucks, um, but that's those are the only costs. There's no textbook to buy. Uh, I know, I, I did my best to keep it as uh, low cost as possible, but I know it is not that low cost. Um, and the only uh, item, so we talked to the bookstore and they said they really can't come close to these prices uh, that Amazon and Sweet Maria's can get. So, uh, But the kit, it should be relatively low cost. It's available at the SCC campus bookstore. It is required, and these are all the required items. And so... Uh, please go ahead and start getting them now. We will need them relatively soon. That's the lab materials. Uh, we won't need them during week one, though, but you should order them because they take a little while to get there. Sweet Maria's is in Oakland, though, so when you ship, it should be there within a couple days. It takes a few more days for me to get them. Um, and then for week one, other than ordering the lab materials, you have a syllabus quiz, a student learning contract, and a student introductions, where for student introductions... You're going to tell about, uh, in at least six sentences, answer a few questions. You're going to post this by Thursday evening of the first week. And then by Sunday evening, you're going to uh, reply directly to at least two classmates. And then we've got some help. We've got some expectations um, in the rubric. 
Oh, and we've already got some already. So excellent. <laughs> uh, so I think that's, oh, and then starting in uh, week two, I will do a new video telling you about the sort of the order for all of the weeks after that. I am here for you. Ask me questions. I hope you will learn a lot. And uh, welcome to class.